everybody, I'm Hannah. And I'm Ethan. And it's time for a Bible story. A long time ago, there was a king named Manasseh, and he was the king of a country called Judah. Ah, Judah. Heard of it. Wait, that was like God's favorite country, right? So that means Manasseh was probably like the coolest king ever, shaking hands, kissing babies. Well, not exactly. Oh, wait, kissing hands and shaking babies? Weird. Oh, never shake a baby. I meant Manasseh was a horrible king. Definitely not kissing hands or babies or whatever you just said. Well, you say Manasseh was horrible, but wasn't Saul a bad king too? I mean, how bad could it possibly be? Well, let's read the Bible and find out. <clears throat> Second Kings 21:13. God said, I will wipe out Jerusalem as one wipes a dish, wiping it and turning it upside down. That's pretty bad. Well, they were worshiping a bunch of fake gods. Fake gods? Like what? Golden cows, statues of things, the sun. Basically, you name it, and they found a way to make it into a fake god and worship it. But how could they do that? Hasn't God, like, literally just delivered them from slavery in Egypt and a bunch of other stuff to take care of them? Yeah, but they'd fallen away. They stopped following God. A while later, Manasseh died, and his son Amon took over the kingdom. Ooh, all right, fresh start. Amen, amen, amen. But he was also evil, just like his dad, and was killed by his own officers two years later. The guy couldn't even make it two years. Ugh, why are all these kings the literal worst? You know, maybe they do deserve to be wiped out, dirty dishes style. Well, yeah, they probably did. But this is where the story really starts, with a little boy named Josiah. Josiah was Amon's son. Oh, great. Now we're going to have a kid who's going to grow up to be evil. Well, when Amon was killed, Josiah actually became king really early, at the age of eight. Eight years old? Man, if I was king whenever I was eight, I'd get a PS5. Wait, I'd get like a PlayStation 9, even though they hadn't even been invented yet. I'm the king. I can do whatever I want. I could fill up the palace pool with something delicious, like Jello. Eh, maybe not good for a pool. Chocolate milk? Yeah, chocolate milk. What? Anyway, as Josiah got older, he proved to be a good king who loved God. He commanded that they fix the temple, which was kind of like their version of church. While they were working on the temple, they found the book of the law. The book of the law contained God's laws to his people, but no one had paid any attention to it in a really long time. Ooh, forgot the law of God. That's like worse than forgetting regular laws. Right? Well, they read the book of the law, and when King Josiah heard it, he was very upset. He cried, and he tore his clothes. That's kind of unprofessional for a king, Hannah. Can you imagine the president crying and tearing his clothes every time he got mad? That's just what people did back then when they were upset or sad. He knew that God must be very angry with them for not obeying the law of God, so he had the priest ask God about it. Ooh, well, what did he say? God basically said that the kingdom would become a disaster and that God's anger would burn against it. Man, that's even worse than the dishes thing. Yeah, but God also said that because Josiah was so upset about learning that they hadn't been following God's laws, Josiah would live a peaceful life and wouldn't see any disasters on Judah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, then Josiah read the book of the law to the whole kingdom and in front of God and promised to keep the law with all his heart and soul. Then the whole kingdom did the same. And then they went around tearing down all the fake gods they'd been worshiping. Problem solved. Good kinging, Josiah. Yeah, Josiah made a pretty good king who loved God and wanted to hold up his end of the covenant or promise made with God. Yeah, not too bad for someone who had terrible kings before him and got his start as a little kid. Agreed. Well, that's all we have time for today. The story of Josiah. Done. Or as I like to say, the end.